Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Welcome every student for service of the rules. Today lesson we are going to take something related to the reading and the name of the lesson in the unit 3 reading and the name of the course is Traveler 5. The subject of course is English and we are in the first semester. This lesson is mainly for third secondary stage we will learn today three things how to read fluently and also student enrich with a new knowledge and students enrich with new vocabularies so as I told you in the beginning we are going to take something related to reading and we should focus on how to read fluently and students are supposed to get new knowledge and also new vocabularies. All right, so those were the objectives of our lesson for today. Are you ready to move? All right. What can you see from this picture? What can you understand from this picture? What can you see? Have you ever seen such a photo before? I think most of you get the answer. All right. And the question now. Have you ever seen a crime or a criminal? If yes, when and where? Have you ever seen a crime or a criminal if yes when and where all right in this slide I need you to read the words in order to put it in the right order in the following sentences read the definitions and find the crime that corresponds to each of them so we have almost six words we should read them and also we should match the right word in the right sentence so the first word is kidnapping theft hacking blackmail burglary and murder okay so number one Treating to reveal something unless somebody does something you tell them to and number two entering a building illegally and stealing things you should think about the right answer in this sentence and number three killing somebody what is the right word for killing somebody? Is it kidnapping, hacking, murder, uh, blackmail? What is your choice? And number four, taking somebody away by force and asking for money from his or her. And number five, stealing something from somebody. What is the appropriate word for stealing something from somebody and the final sentence is entering a person's computer and stealing information so what do you mean by this is it kidnapping theft hacking blackmail what is the right word for each sentence i suppose you at least get two of that of those sentences right because, for example, entering a person's computer and stealing information, you might heard of any word led to that, which is might be theft or hacking. So it's not uh, a difficult. All right. So can we get the answers together now? And make sure if you get the right answer from the first time. All right. Here we go with the answers. For number one, the right answer is black 
male. For number two, the right answer is burglary. And for number three, the right answer is murder. And number four, kidnapping is the right answer. Five, fifth. And the last sentence, as I told you, hacking is the right option for sentence number six. Well done for those who get it from the first time. And anyone face any difficulty, that's normal. Next time, you will get it in the right way. All right, scanning for specific information. Read the words from the headlines and discuss what you think each story will be about. Then, read the articles and check. So, we have... One, two, three. In number one, we can see old man gives biscuits stall 50 years. Um, just a hint, number one and two and three, it's three different stories we are going to take in the next uh, coming slide. But before we go to that slide, we, uh, I want just to ask you a question. Uh, what do you think the story will be if those words are in the story? Old man gives biscuits stole 50 years. What do you think? Is the story mainly about biscuits or about old man or about a long period which is 50? What is your opinion about that? And also the second story, those are the uh, words, criminals, arrange, bank, robbery, phone. What do you think the story will be talking about? Criminals, arrange, robbery, phone. Is it related to phone or bank? Okay, and the final story will be about police hunt prisoner and escape sheep. So, is it mainly about police or about prisoners? That's what we are going to discover in the next slides. Each sentence or each word in uh, this column is uh, talking about one story. So are you ready to move for those stories to read them? Let's move. Alright, now read the three articles then answer the questions. Strange crimes. Strange crimes mean unusual crimes. Alright, for number one, just follow with me. I am going to read it slowly for you. So you can catch up with me the words. A pensioner has returned a packet of biscuits he stole when he was a 15-year-old schoolboy half a century ago. The man took the biscuits while he was working at the cafe in Yorkshire, England. He said he had always felt bad about it. Finally, 50 years later, he bought another packet of biscuits and went back to the cafe. The owner, who said he did not know the boy had stolen the biscuits, was astonished when his old employee now, in his 60s, arrived at his cafe the previous day. We had good laugh about it he said so is it about old man or is it about um, a boy that story I think it's clear now it's about an old man someone who stole a, a packet of biscuits 50 years ago and then he decided to return a uh, 
I return the biscuits again to the cafe. All right. So we are going to ask you some question related to this passage. But now let's move to the second strange crime. And the same thing, just follow with me. I am going to read it for you. U.S. police have arrested two men who tried to rob a bank. The men made the mistake of phoning the bank and asking the staff to have the money ready for them to collect. The pair threatened the staff and said there will be a trouble if the money wasn't ready. The staff then phoned the police. Ten minutes later, the two would-be robbers arrived. Only to find police waiting for them instead of the money, which is funny, funny story really. So it's about two men, and I'm going. Uh, I'm not going to tell you details. Um, this details about the, the story because as I told you before, we are going to ask you some questions, and I hope you can get the right answers. Okay, let's move to the strange crime number three. Two Argentinian criminal, uh, criminals who escaped from prison have disappeared. All the police know is that they are disguised as sheep. The two men who were put in a prison for robbing a bank stole the sheep skins from a local farm. A farm worker said he had seen the men running through the fields at night. They were wearing grey clothes but had sheep skins including the sheep's heads over their heads and backs. The police have already spent over a week looking for the men. Alright? I hope you get the all three stories and then I suppose you now ready for answering the following question. All right, the question is when was the packet of biscuits stolen? Is it recently or 15 years ago? or more than 15 years ago or just in the previous day so you need to make your choice number two what was the bank robbers mistake they should not have threatened the staff they should not have phoned to say they were coming or they arrived too early and final thing they phoned the police by mistake which one is right what was the bank robbers mistake and how did the argentinian criminals hide from police they robbed a bank they escaped from prison. They dressed as sheep. And they ran around the hills. What is the right option for each sentence? All right. Now, how do you please uh, know the criminals are dressed as a sheep? Someone who work uh, who works at the farm has seen them in a sheep skin the farmer has lost two sheep or because the police would have found them if they were dressed as a sheep and final option because a farmer has counted two sheep that don't belong to him all right those were the options for each question related to the previous three passages and now it's time for the answers for number one c is the right option the biscuits more than uh, 15 years ago and number two d is the right option because the thief feel bad about it 
and for number three they should not have phone to say they were coming and number four they dressed as a sheep and the final option for number five and the right option as well a someone who works at the farm has seen them in sheep skins all right so those were the right options for the previous questions in this slide we need to match the words phrases on the left side with the right side and the advertisement with the meaning pillow so those words on the left side we need to match them when the with the words on the right side for example what is the meaning of the word pensioner is it worker retired uh, hidden uh, what about the word honor what's the uh, synonyms word for honor employee as well so your job is just to match uh, those words on the left hand side with the um, other word in the right hand side and just make sure you uh, put the right word in the right uh, place so we can check as usual together in the next slide but I'm going to uh, stay for less than 20 seconds to make your choice so for example what is the meaning of the word disguised is it hidden is it employees is it coat right Okay, those were the right options for the right match. Pensioner is retire and also owner is property and for an employee, worker and previous aerial and uh, rested coat and stuff, employees and disguised head. Alright, so well done for those who get it from the first time. And now it's time for what we have learned for today. We start discussion about joining the picture with main topic. And also we did the exercise of vocabulary and phrasal verb. And also we indicate the new words. And final thing, we finished the lesson by reading passages with some related questions and get the answers as well. And also this is where the references of the lesson this slide means the end of the lesson. I would like to thank you really for your watching. I hope you do enjoy and learn. At the same time, uh, for any information and question, please don't hesitate to uh, visit our website. Also, you can contact us via Twitter account. And if you have any um, question, you can phone us as well through 800 Thank you again. I hope to see you next time. Until that, goodbye for now. Oh.